Hi Leo, thank you for joining me for your December reading. Please remember that this is general, so it's not going to resonate for everybody. It's also timeless and it's not gender specific. Because time and energy is fluid, it means that the roles can be switched. I was just checking my microphone there, I felt something tickle on me. Um, yeah, the roles can be switched, uh, but because this is Leo's reading, I will be addressing them. Always, always use your own discernment, okay? You take what's resonating for you and you leave what doesn't. I cannot censor, choose nor control what's coming out of the cards. I'm literally just reading them and it's up to you what you decide to do with it. You do have free will. Tarot is not in charge here, you are. And for everything else, please read the descriptions box. Okay, so Leo Collective for December. Okay, that was nice and fast. And you've got number nine. What do you feel? And nines pertain to, uh, <coughs> excuse me, nines pertain to attainment and fulfillment. Um, keep pushing forward, okay? Keep, keep moving forward. You're nearly there with it being number nine, but you're not quite there just yet, okay? So this is not the time to um, rest on your laurels, as it were. It says you have become stuck in Oh, I can't see it. You have become stuck in the logic of decision-making process. Any path is still a path. Change course later on if needed. Okay. Um, wow. That's, uh, that's quite a profound way to begin your reading there, Leo. Um, apples and oranges, right? So they're saying here, any decision that you make right now, it's absolutely fine. It's absolutely fine. Just make a decision, okay? You can always backtrack later on down the line. It's not a problem. But right now, it's like you're trying to choose between six and half a dozen, okay? They're saying that right now, it doesn't matter. As long as you continue putting one foot in front of the other and keep moving forward, any direct, <coughs> excuse me, any direction at this point in time is still... <laughs> Oh my God, <laughs> what is going on with my voice? Any direction at this point in time is still a direction, okay? So avoid overthinking it. It's for Leo, please, for December. Leo Collective for December, please. Leo Collective for December. Oh. Wow, whoa. Um, okay, I am going to take them. Your first card out is Judgment. It's uh, Pluto energy. It can be Scorpion, but it doesn't have to be, okay? It's just about um, listening to your higher calling, having some kind of an awakening. And yeah, I am feeling that this is a decision that you're trying to make that pertains to something or someone from your past, right? It's making that final judgment call, making that decision as well. Strength, that's your major arcana, so that's definitely your energy, all right? Um, two major arcanas here, back to back, Leo. So yeah, th this is gonna be an interesting read. The Knight of Wands is uh, Sagittarius, brain fart moment there. Uh, the Five of Wands is Leo, and the Nine of Wands is Sagittarian. Can you complete this read, please, for Leo Collective? Thank you. The Seven of Wands. Nice. Okay. It's for Leo, please. Thank you. The star, Aquarian energy. The knight of coins is Virgo. That's, ooh, nice. And the ace of cups as well. That's water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. The ten of wands is Sagittarian and the four of cups is Cancerian. And then the energies at the bottom of the deck, the Empress, nice. Earth and Venus, so it's Taurus, Libra. 
this could well be your energies as well and death under there scorpion energy a lot of major arcana here leo a lot <laughs> in the world fixed energy and saturn so it's taurus leo scorpio aquarius capricorn temperance another major arcana a sagittarian energy and then the ten of cups pisces energy um completion okay so right this decision that you're trying to make this is a very important decision okay really really important it's like you're on the precipice here of a huge lifestyle change um there's indications here that for some of you it could see you uh maybe traveling around moving traveling the world it could be it doesn't have to be i'm feeling this particular energy as um a missed opportunity that is coming back in towards you leo that there's a chance here there is definitely a chance of ultimate happiness that is on the table here and you're being guided towards um making some kind of a decision so that you can keep moving forward right now this th with this energies here they're saying your end goal is ultimately going to be the same regardless of which direction you choose to take to get there okay um this is a really bizarre reading, especially with all of those major arcana as well. Um, there's, there's a change up to your energies as well. We're seeing that some of you, some of you were dealing with um, an individual who, they, they, I don't know, I, I need to be really mindful here about the way that I'm putting this into words. Um, some of you are just sick and tired of dealing with like F boys, F girl energies, right? You're... Uh, it's like you're rejecting any anyone who shows you any kind of red flag straight away your defenses are going up and you're like no 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 i've i've been down that path before i'm i'm not wanting to repeat you know that the same old lessons um i'm different now i've changed i'm i'm attracting a different type of person but because of that it makes you feel really uncomfortable and you don't know if you should trust the new types of people that, that you've been attracting towards you because it makes you feel like you're out of your comfort zone as i say a lot of you are used to individuals who are really flighty they, they're only in it for whatever they can take and then they bugger off again and um, you know you you're used to individuals just sort of checking out on you right last minute as well um and it, it's kind of like you've become accustomed to toxic people like it, it's just what you're used to you've become accustomed to it and in a lot of respects you're expecting it as well more recently though you've been attracting individuals who are genuinely the complete opposite of that and it's like you're kind of waiting for the other fit to drop right you're waiting for the punchline is what's going on here and they're saying leo it feels uncomfortable because you're just not used to being treated correctly you're not used to um unconditional love it, it's that's why it feels weird right you're finding that you've got a lot, and I mean a lot, of interest 
that is aimed towards you, right? The Knight of Wands, the Seven of Wands, the Ace of Cups. And this, this read is very much you trying to um, separate the wheat from the shaft, right? You're trying to find that, that golden relationship in amongst all of these different offers, right? I am seeing a bit of jealousy here as well that is aimed towards you. You've got judgment, five of wands and the star. So you, you're showing up as being really strong, really independent. You, you know, you, you're showing up like you've got a lot to offer and you do have a lot to offer. You absolutely do, right? The Empress energy. Again, cards in tarot, not gender specific. Okay, you can still be a masculine and, and resonating with the Empress energy. Um, and also, of course, if the energies are reversed, then this is about the individual that you're interested in. Um, but you, you're showing up like you've got your life sorted. You've got everything lined up and that there's someone here, someone around you who you're really naturally defensive against that is trying to cause some kind of issue. You see this entire middle row, the five of wands, nine of wands, seven of wands, that's really uncomfortable energies. It's um, someone else is kind of giving you their problems here with this. And that is exactly the type of shit that you're rejecting. You're rejecting other people's issues, other people's problems. It's, you've got this new vibe about you where you're like, do you know what? That is not my problem. My problem is my own life and that is where my focus is at this point in time. Um, you've got a secret admirer here as well for some of you. That is here. Uh, someone who is just far too slow to take action. Um, they're, they're starting to feel that they've missed the boat with you. And this is the individual that we're seeing up here. That missed opportunity that's coming back in. Um, interesting. Okay. You tell us more about the five of ones, nine of ones, seven of ones, please. For Leo. An X. Yeah, an ex that is still madly and utterly in love with you, an ex who is still besotted with you, um, an ex who you ended it with because you couldn't trust them. Um, they, they were showing you too many red flags. You could have been married to them as well. Not necessarily, it's just indicating that um, you thought that that particular ex was your life partner and they showed you proof of it being otherwise. Um, yeah, they're, they're definitely hoping to get back together with you here. Leo, you, you're dealing with a couple of different individuals. Difficult, really, really difficult energies. Um, <clears throat> because the choice I'm seeing is between an ex, where things ended badly, and an individual who is deeply, deeply in love with you, they haven't verbalized it yet, um, that there was some kind of separation between you two, so the emotion was never really uh, shared between you because it was a missed opportunity. And they are also coming back in towards you. Hmm. There's a soulmate connection with that secret admirer. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. Um, universal energies that I get with that one. You, some of you, you could be working on something as well. Um, you, you could be doing something that is out in the public eye for some of you, not all of you. Uh, we're seeing here that there is rapid growth and expansion with whatever this is that you're trying to grow. You're trying to nurture something that there's definitely growth 
with something that you're working on but don't expect fast results from it though because this is going to be results that is built up over time okay some of you might be dealing with a divine counterpart as well it's that secret admirer there's strong indications that they are a divine counterpart let me further clarify this energy please for leo okay mm, four of cups yeah um they they were not seeing the potential in that connection they, they it's like um it's like they, they either didn't want to see it or they were just too busy focused on something else but they missed i'm, I'm talking about your secret admirer here okay they, they missed the boat with you because they just weren't understanding the the gravity of this particular connection they, they weren't um it, it's not that they were being ungrateful uh, that that's a different energy that this is they they were not seeing it they they just couldn't see it until and well and until it was too late basically um okay further clarify thank you yeah they were too busy the the seven of coins um this person is struggling as well to find the words that they're, they're struggling to find the words to describe what they're feeling with this particular connection and they've also been researching as well they, they've been researching like uh, spiritual connections soulmates twin flames they've definitely they, they've had to take a look at this situation and it, it's like they've had to change their mind about a lot of things as well um, you, you've made them see the world and the universe differently that's interesting that is really interesting and you've got the six of swords under there that's Aquarian energy um, yeah there, there was some kind of distance it's like the vibe between you and this secret admirer it was always that should we shouldn't we and it never got there um, and then either you or they moved away and it's like with within that uh, time of separation they've they've been left thinking thinking things through um, okay let me further clarify on this read please for leo some of you might have had a new job offer as well it's like a uh, they're both amazing opportunities, but you don't know which one to take. Hmm. Okay. It's for Leo, please. You further clarify for Leo. Mm, the real deal they see a light a total keeper genuine compatible authentic healthy and a good choice a good choice so they see you as a really good choice island time in your own time take your time active having a relaxed attitude be more light-hearted and meditate so they're saying here for you to um meditate on this choice right don't feel that you're being rushed into anything however you do need to continue moving forward all right because that that was the main message that was coming out in your read continue to move forward whichever direction you pick i'm not seeing that you're going to be on the losing side of the table here leo with this decision real deal 
someone's there's like a strong vibe here of enlightenment ascending transcending obstacles learning expansion new phase and preparing for union yeah i'm seeing this as like a soulmate twin flame connection here and friendship true friends solid friendship authentic we do anything for you and always there no matter what okay so what well, what i can make out that's going on here right this could be somebody that you used to work with you you probably met them at work or for some of you you might have even met them on holiday as well and um, there was like an instant connection between both of you now with this being like a divine counterpart situation that you're dealing with it it's like you felt at home with this individual right you felt comfortable with them at the same time there was something really really different about the connection that you share with them to the connection that you shared with anybody else ever before right some of you are trying to um make healthy choices when it comes down to love and romance right but what's actually working against you is the fact that you've been far too accustomed to being treated incorrectly by the wrong types of people. And because of that, it, it's made you uh, uncomfortable with decision making because you feel that every single time you get involved romantically with somebody, it goes wrong because you, you, you've got this in your mind now that you constantly make the wrong decision when it comes down to love right um it's like toxic individuals have been gravitating towards you because that's what you used to right you've gone through some kind of a spiritual awakening here right and you've you're still ascending, you're still changing, and now because of that, you've been attracting genuine people towards you. But you're still uncomfortable with making decisions because you're fully expecting these genuine individuals to turn out toxic just like everyone else in your past has, right? There's a repeating cycle here that you're bringing to an end we've got a lot of cards about cycles okay you've got death the world and the wheel of fortune the old days are dead right the old days have gone and the only thing that you're taking away from your past leo is the 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 lessons and the knowledge that is going to help you to move forward right you're also for some of you stuck uh, decision making between two really amazing jobs and they're saying here whichever job you take it doesn't matter right now because they're both amazing right they're, they're both going to be really prosperous they're, they're both opportunities where you're going to continue to to move up the the ladder if you like um they're both winners right and then in the meanwhile, you've got an ex and the secret admirer, the person from work, the one where it was always should we, shouldn't we, they're both coming in towards you. And you're going to have to be on best terms with your higher self here. That's the only way that you're going to be able to make this decision. Because for some of you, there is still some kind of like um, an emotional attachment to the ex. There, there is still that there. Hmm. Okay. Can you have a healing message, please, for Leo? I do apologise. It's really difficult for me to try and make sense of the readings um, because obviously it's not my energy and I just have to try and read it as best I can. It's for Leo, please. Thank you. Okay, number 12. Kindness, fruit bat, flying fox. Right. And number 12, 
I do believe that that's reduced into a three, and threes pertain to uh, co-creation, creativity, cooperation, teamwork, collaboration, all of that good stuff. Right. So you get three messages that come with these cards. The first message comes from the creator of the deck. Your second message comes from your own intuition while you're looking at the card. And then your third message comes from your reader and their intuition. So it says kindness. Choose kindness, which isn't always the easy way. Kindness will always be repaid. Consider others in your decisions, especially those who have less power than you. Repay your debts, spread the seeds of goodwill, and your fortunes will grow. Fruit bats are a vital part of the ecosystem, ensuring that seeds are spread and fertility of the land is secured. The energy here is one of fertility and plentifulness. Yeah, that's the Empress energy. Invite flying fox energy into your workings when you wish to invoke more kindness or fertility. Hmm. This is someone else's energies towards you here, Leo. Um, anything that was left unspoken, it is going to be verbalised here. And this is someone who genuinely has true emotion towards you. They, they see you as the Empress. So much potential, so much growth, respect as well. Um, they, they're they respecting your current position in life. They're, they're seeing what you can do. They're seeing what you're capable of. They see what, what it is that you're working on. They see that you're working on yourself. They see that you're getting your life together, right? And it, it's almost as if they're trying to emulate you here in a lot of ways and this is also you calling in this energies towards you because the empress doesn't chase right they don't chase they they allow these opportunities to come in towards them after of course having done a lot of hard work on themselves as well This read is intriguing. No further clarity, please, Leo. Wow, yeah. New moon eclipse, expect powerful change. You're being put back on the right path. There is nothing for you to fear. Yes, a thousand times yes. You're being shunted towards your life's purpose. This is an important turning point of your life. Yeah. Your life's purpose. Um, some of you might have stopped investing in a certain situation and you took the decision to invest in yourself and to become in union with yourself. Some of you, yeah, the, this is a twin flame situation here because the twin flame connection is literally all about union with the self and once you've got that nailed, everything else will follow. And I'm seeing that this is the results of everything that you've been doing up until this point, Leo, that's coming in towards you, everything. That there is a minor inconvenience here though, very, very minor with that jealous ex. Um, don't put any kind of stock into low vibe energies, okay? Whatever you do, because I mean, look how far you've come on this journey. Just take it, take a breath, have a quick glance behind you and give yourself a pat on the back for how far you've already come. It's for Leo, please. Where should Leo's focus be, please? Okay, in flow state, being in the zone, loving life, focused, high frequency, skill meets challenge, flotation therapy, crisis, re uh, Restructuring life, blessings within clearing space, brings solutions, see deepest needs and emotions and be in love. Exude love in all that you do. Oneness, like attracts like, unconditionally loving itself and all. Um, okay, 
somebody might be suffering here from a little bit of imposter syndrome, right? So they're saying, go with the flow. You can learn as you go. So someone's going to be learning while you're at, while you're on the job here. OK, and that's absolutely fine. Again, that minor inconvenience there with that X. It's almost as if they're coming back in towards you and expecting to be able to continue to take advantage of your good nature. And you're like, no, that that's not going to happen. Um, that's how things used to be. I have learned since then. I have evolved. And I'm not going to be accepting anything less than, than what I know I deserve. There's a lot of self-respect here as well. This individual is not going to be able to get past your barrier of self-respect. Further clarity, please, for Leo. Oh. Gemini, I think. OK, an exchange of ideas or communication changed opinion according to the new evidence multitasking. Yeah. Um, <laughs> if anyone's still feeling slightly stuck on that X that's headed back towards your way, you're going to be changing your opinion about them quite quickly because they're going to show you evidence that um, that you're no longer a match. You, you, you're not. A f it's like you're on com two completely different life paths here. But there's something about them showing you evidence. Soulmates paying attention, mindfulness, talking, writing, Explanation, it's communication. Expect communication here, Leo. Expect communication from multiple individuals. Aha, uh -huh, yes. Yod, destiny. A disruptive force is at work that is creating tensions. Scale things down and weed out what is unnecessary. Patience and being adaptable is needed now. Um, you might need to make sacrifices or adjustments, being inventive, self-reflection, standing strong and making a difference, following your destiny and meeting your destiny. Yeah. Um, you've got much bigger fish to fry here, Leo, than an ex of the past coming back in towards you. Much bigger fish. Um, as I've already said, you are strongly rejecting low vibe individuals. And it's not it's not about arrogance either. It's not because you're not going to be put in situations where you feel that you have to compete anymore. Right. That was the old days. Those days are gone. Right. Confidence isn't about thinking that you're better than anyone else. It's about being able to walk into a room and knowing that you do not have to compare yourself to anyone. Right. Um, this is you realizing that you can take on anything when you put your mind to it. You're having more trust and faith here in your own abilities and you're going to start to see evidence of everything that you have been investing your energies into. Lots of communication here as well and a destined individual, someone who is part of your destiny is also going to be communicating to you. Mm. A further clarity please for Leo. <clears throat> throat chakra yeah 
Okay, so it's suggesting that lapis lazuli might be beneficial for you at this time and your throat chakra, that pertains to communication. Again, it deals with truth and is blocked by lies. It's all about uh, creativity and healing as well. Now, Leo, uh, communication has pretty much been the theme of this read, right? And my throat has been really odd throughout your entire read. Lots of people have got lots of things that they would like to say to you, but pay attention because one of these individuals is your divine counterpart, okay? Expression, express your true self, the world needs you. There is a very, very profound and important relationship around you. They've got something to say, and equally, you've got something to say to them as well. So don't focus on negativity that's being brought towards you by an ex, right? You've got a lot that's going on in this read, and that's why it's really, really difficult for me to try and make any kind of sense of this. But obviously, if it's resonating for you, that is absolutely fantastic. Don't worry if it isn't just come back and visit me the next time I upload a brand new video. Um, but this, this is going to be really, really interesting. So you are going to have to let me know what comes of this, all right? Because your divine counterpart is definitely going to be reaching out towards you here, communicating to you, trying to get things back on track with you, trying to get you into a union, and you know, you're dealing with work as well and everything else in between. This is gonna be a really, really busy time for you, Leo, really busy. And that's why it's important that you don't allow yourself to get distracted by any sort of low vibe energies, okay? That you don't get distracted by anyone who's just trying to uh, push your buttons, by anyone who's feeling jealous of the fact that you're moving on. Um, you know, all, all of that really low vibe energy stuff. You've got bigger things here, bigger things coming in. And this is all a credit to you as well, Leo. This is absolutely because of the work that you have been putting in on yourself. So kudos to you. This is an amazing read, absolutely amazing. Okay, so uh, for those who are new to my channel, then I do have to give a warning about the Rebel deck because it can be very uh, abrupt, very sweary, and it can come out as a bit offensive as well. Okay, so if that's not your sort of thing, then this is your cue to sign out. Right, you do you. Stop trying to change people. That shit never works. Ask a fucking expert. Don't rely on your friends or the internet. Listen to a damn professional. Move the fuck out. Uh, get the fuck outside. Move your ass. Your body's pissed at you. You look like a shit show. You're a hot mess. Fact. Clean yourself up. And you are the best thing to ever happen to you. Go easy on your ass. Buy your own damn drink. Okay, so again, it's up to you what side of the table you're sitting at for every single card that comes out. Okay, it's completely interchangeable. So yeah, that is what I have for you, Leo. Um, if you would like to book a private reading with me, then the link to do so is in the descriptions box and it's in the pinned comments below. It's really quick and easy to place your book in. When you go on the website, it's all laid out as if they were physical items and that's how they're purchased. That's how you make your booking. Okay. Thank you so, so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, or leave a comment as well. Have a lovely, lovely week, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.